Hello and welcome to my Oracle Think Tank Tech Profile for the V Premium format. So I've actually never played this deck in V Premium. I've only ever played this in Premium. I basically put this together last minute because, well, a few things happened, like I mentioned in my blog the other day, where we had one person pull out, which was uh, Solon Vanguard, uh, just feeling unwell and everything. So I found out that we may actually be able to switch to V uh, for quite a few reasons, actually. But what I ended up doing was is that the night before that, I built two decks, so there was Prisms and there was Oracle Think Tank, just out of stuff that I had. Uh, Prisms, which I gave to Dave to pilot, he basically went uh, almost undefeated, there was, I think, two games he lost, one in Swiss and one in the top four, and then there was this Oracle Think Tank Witch deck, which was untested, of course, because I don't know, I haven't had anyone tell me whether or not this deck is actually good. But I just thought, you know what, it seemed good in Premium, so maybe in V Premium it might work alright. I mean, sure, Ichikishim doesn't exist, but I thought maybe Restanding Vanguards would still kind of make a bit of a dent. Whereas, like, other Oracle Think Tank decks, I kind of feel, just don't really feel that impressive in V Premium because they're not really doing something that aggressive. So, here we go anyway. The starting Vanguard, Solar Maiden Uzume, you can play any V starter, obviously. For Sky Witch Coco, you want to ride this ideally because this is how you can spam Protect Gift and also how you can draw additional cards, which is kind of nice. Uh, gives you a little bit more of a chance against Axel decks, to be fair. You need to have some draw power. And then we've got four copies of Yo-Yo. Uh, this card actually has an errata, which hasn't really been announced officially, as far as I'm aware, uh, in that they've misprinted this. This card is actually supposed to attack a grade 3 Vanguard, a uh, grade 3 or greater Vanguard, to be able to actually use the skill of rewriting a grade 3 Witch from your hand. Uh, they didn't word it that way, which is a bit of a mess, so... That they haven't, well, they haven't issued the errata, but this is one of the two issues we have right now with witches, is there's that, the yo-yo ability, and there's also just the fact that Keta Sanctuary has witch cards, but in Japan you can't use those witch cards in Oracle Think Tank witches, whereas in TCG they haven't actually fixed that ruling officially, so we don't actually know for sure if you can use Keta witches or not, which is annoying because uh, if someone decides to do this in a tournament then it's going to be a mess, obviously, because there's two sides to it. And then we have Zozo. So Zozo is a strong card because if you ride into this using yo skill, you then get to gain more power and get to a front row. So more aggression, which is nice. Also has a nice on hit. So being able to just plus an extra card is also useful. And since we're not using G guards in V Premium format, I'm sure there's more counterparts to spare as well. And then we have Koba Witch Poo Poo. So this card also helps with aggression, gains more power. If you ride it though, you can also get a Protect Gift, so that's nice. We have four Ninis. So Nini is a grade three in your soul, if you have a Witch Vanguard. And also you can move into your soul as a rear guard, so you don't actually have to ride this if you don't want to, or if you can't. You can still just move to your soul, and the ability lets you stack the top three of your deck in any order. So ideally what you do is you put the two cards you want to draw with Coco skill, and then you put the trigger as your third card, that's the more efficient way of using it. Then you have four copies of Tite, so this is just there as a plus one. So that when you discard it, you get to call it for almost free because it's a Soul Blast cost. Although Soul is kind of awkward to manage sometimes, but it is good for that. And at sometimes uh, there are moments where this card does feel a bit inefficient because obviously you want Yo-Yo in your front row if you don't ride as your Vanguard. But then again in V Premium, you're more likely to ride as your Vanguard in more cases compared to Premium format. But the other problem is as well is that if you have Cobalt Witch uh, Poo Poo, then that means technically you're never going to want to call this because you're going to lose your main restander card and you're going to lose your strong rear guard. So it can get a bit awkward in the later game. But even then, it's still good in some parts of the game and it can also be used to gain a lot of defense as well if you need to get past center restricts. We have four copies of Mumu. So Mumu is really strong because it lets you search off the top five to look for a witch. Basically, we reveal up to three. And if uh, you reveal three witches, then you just get to add it to your hand and move on. Otherwise, if you don't, then you just have to soul charge Moomoo Moo instead. So you don't get to keep Moomoo Moo on the field two's next turn, or if you restand it via a card effect, because it's not actually a once per turn, by the way. Also, it's a good ride target, because if you ride a witch over her, then you get to draw one for free. Just like Coco can draw one for free if you ride over grade two. Witches has quite a few free draw cards. You just got to remember to use the timings, of course, when playing this deck. And then there's a 4 Amanomurakumo, which is Grade 3 Searcher, really good. You can get 5k power 
through using cards like Mumu and uh, the like. So yeah, it's it's pretty handy. Just get a little bit of a power buff to put behind your Vanguard as well as your Rigards. Then there's Divana Muta, also another power buff card because he gains five, uh, sorry 15k power. So 23k booster or attacker. And it can stack a card as well on top of your deck. So say you've run out of Zozo, for example. You can use this to stack Zozo on top and then use Yo-Yo to basically do this. Or you could potentially do something like putting Yo-Yo on top because you don't have your Yo's anymore. Maybe you're playing as a fill control deck. So use this, put your Yo-Yo back and then use Amna Murakumo or use Mumu, which we showed before that, the other, the other great one. And you can just search your witch that you just stacked back on top of your deck and then just call your yo-yo and then get your restand again. So it helps to maintain your deck speed to play the game. Unfortunately, we're not playing the good Psychic Bird, so we're just playing Vanilla Psychic Bird instead. And then, of course, we do have the Sentinel Crits um, and obviously for additional Vanilla Crits. The Sentinel Crits, these are obviously there because we played way too many perfect guards in the form of Protect Markers because the deck always has loads of protect like either you're riding that grade 2 poo poo to get the protect obviously you've got the protect off of the grade threes and then you've got the ability so yo yo when you use her ability to spirit court you're getting another protect as well if you haven't have yo as your vanguard you can get an additional protect on top of that and then there's also coco who can draw cards and then turn all your witches as many of them as possible that you want to even into protect markers so you basically never have a shortage of protect markers so there's just no point playing more PGs when you could just be playing 30k shields and higher crit count as well. So makes perfect sense, which is one of the reasons why I like Witches actually is because I can play Kusanagi at 4. Then there's 4 copies of the heal trigger of course to give a bit of defense as well. And of course you can search with Armin and Murakumo too, which is also nice. So that is more or less it with my Oracle Think Tank Witch deck profile. It went um, defeated entirely through the day. But the player that was using it was uh, sort of just learning how to play the game. And to be fair, they did go against harder matchups as well. And I'm not sure if this is actually like that good of a deck, but um, I have yet to test it. Tell me what you think, uh, how you found testing with Oracle Think Tank Witches. And uh, that's more or less it. Uh, I'll be putting up more deck profiles as well soon. Not just from the event uh, in London over the weekend, but I'll also be paying up uh, deck profiles around P-Clan Collection 2 soon, so look forward to that as well. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.